Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunday School. Today is a very special day that we celebrate each year in church. Do you know what day it is? Today is Palm Sunday. So every year we celebrate Palm Sunday because that's the day that Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem on a donkey and the people of the city lined the streets and welcomed Jesus. They were cheering and celebrating and waving palms and laying down their uh, jackets and stuff for the donkey to be able to walk over. And that was a sign of respect. They were celebrating Jesus. And so every year, the Sunday before Easter Sunday, we also celebrate Palm Sunday. And we remember the way the people back then welcomed Jesus into their city. And we also celebrate Jesus in our churches and we welcome Jesus into our own life. So I have today's Bible story. It's from the book of Matthew Woo. and it's found in our Celebrate Wonder Bible storybook. So let's read it together. Okay as always before we read our Bible story we're gonna look at the pictures. This picture today is so pretty. Jesus is entering on the donkey, riding the donkey, and here's all the people waving palm branches and celebrating Jesus and welcoming him into the city. That looks like so much fun, doesn't it? So let's read. It's from the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. Jesus enters Jerusalem. Jesus and his followers were close to the city of Jerusalem. They could smell the spices from the shops and hear the people buying what they needed inside the city walls. Jesus asked two of the followers to get a donkey and a donkey colt for him to ride. The two followers found the donkey and her colt and brought them back to Jesus. The followers placed their clothes on the donkey's back and placed Jesus on the donkey. A large crowd met Jesus at the city gate of Jerusalem. The crowd spread their clothes on the road. Others cut palm branches off the trees and laid them down on the road. The crowd shouted praises, saying, Hosanna! Blessings! Hosanna! The whole city was excited. Who is this? The people in the city asked. The crowd told the people, This is the prophet Jesus. Have you heard this story before? It's one that we tell pretty much every year on Palm Sunday, as we remember uh, literally the palms that the people cut off the trees and waved for Jesus. And uh, as we celebrate Jesus the week before Easter, Palm Sunday is the start of what we call Holy Week. So we celebrate Palm Sunday today, and then we'll celebrate Maundy Thursday, which is the day we remember Jesus doing the Last Supper with his disciples and then Good Friday, which is the day that Jesus died on the cross. And then we celebrate Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. And we'll talk about Easter Sunday next week. But um, Easter is, of course, one of the best days, if not the best day of the whole church year. It's really special. So today's wonder question in our Bible storybook is, I wonder, why do you think Jesus chose to ride on a donkey? Hmm, interesting question. Maybe that's a question you would like to talk to your uh, the people who live with you about. Um, either right now, if everyone is sitting together, you can pause this video and talk about it, or you can talk about it after this lesson. Why did Jesus choose to ride on a donkey? Okay, today's craft for today is a fun one in celebration of Palm Sunday. And you, if you were uh, joining us for virtual Sunday school last year, you might remember this one. But if you haven't, it'll be brand new to you. And if you have done it before, you should be excited to do it again because it's fun. So what you'll need for this craft are some scissors some tape, a popsicle stick, a piece of green paper, 
if you have it. If you don't have green paper, but you have white and you have some colors and you want to color it green, you can do that. Or you can just pretend that you have green paper. But if you have some, pick green. And then just something to draw with. I picked a green marker, uh, but you can use a pencil or anything. Just something to draw with. Okay, part of the reason this craft is so great is because it is also a pun. Today is what day? Palm Sunday. And so we're going to make a palm branch. You know what that looks like? It's like the ones that we wave in church. It's got all the little leaves sticking out of it and it's very like wavy. We're gonna make a palm branch out of our hand prints or our palms. See? I told you there was a pun. So the first step in making our palm branch is to trace our hands. So grab whatever it is that you're gonna draw with or grab a friend, someone who lives with you, to help you trace your hand. And you're gonna put your hand on the paper. And if you're like me and your hands are a little bigger, you might have to be strategic. If you only have one paper, then be sure to spread your hands out so there's my cat. Um, excuse us, Niles. Spread your hands out on the paper so that you have plenty of room to draw both hands or just use another piece of paper, but to be good about our resources. Uh, and then if you have small hands, you won't have to worry about it. And then you will trace your hand or have a, a buddy or a family member or something trace your hand. Doo -doo -doo. All the way around. Okay, there's one of mine. And then I'm just going to connect the bottom of my hand. Just make it go around like that so it's all connected. And then I'm going to do the same with my other hand. Okay, this one is going to be tricky because I am uh, left-handed. But here we go. Okay, I trace my left hand uh, with my marker and this one, I kind of ran out of room, but that's okay. That won't be a big deal. So now that you have your two palms drawn, you need to cut them out. And this part sometimes is kind of tedious, so you may need someone to help you out with this as well or pause the video and take your time, whatever you need. If you want, you can you can either cut around each finger and be very precise, or you can just cut out the whole shape in a big circle and not have to worry about cutting each finger out. Sometimes that's easier. So cut your hands out and then I'll see you back for the next part, okay? Okay, I cut out both my palms and I'm ready to do the next thing. So, clear away all my mess. So now, you take your popsicle stick and your palms and decide how you want to put them on. So, like I have marker uh, showing through on the back, so I'm gonna put mine on this way so that you can't see the marker and the popsicle stick is on the back of my palm. Does that make sense? And then take your tape, get a big long strip because it needs to cover this big old popsicle stick and tape it onto the back of your palm like so. And you may need a couple different ones if it's really floppy just to secure it onto your popsicle stick. And then take your other palm and you might wanna put it the opposite way of your first palm, uh, like your thumb sticking the other way or something to make it look wavy. There we go. And tape that one on. I'm gonna use a few different pieces of tape on this one. Okay, and now if you wanted to do more palm prints, you totally could and just make it one big old 
palm, palm branch. But here's my two, and look, it waves like a palm branch and like a hand. So many puns. We have our palms making our palm branch, and it waves like a palm branch and like you would wave. Yeah. So here's our Palm Sunday palm branch craft. So when you finish with this lesson today, go find someone that lives with you and tell them about your palm branch craft and about today's lesson, about how the people in Jerusalem waved the palms for Jesus. And then you could just do this in your house or uh, wave your palms when you're watching online worship later today. Okay, that sums up our craft. And before we go, uh, I wanted to let you know some fun things that are coming up this week. I'll try to keep it short. Uh, first thing, today, this afternoon, from 4 to 5, we're having an Easter egg hunt. If it is raining, it will be in the fellowship hall, but we're really hoping it doesn't rain. So be praying for no rain so it can be in the backyard of the D.C. Okay, I hope to see you there. Uh, masks on, bring a bag or a basket to collect eggs. Um, the other thing is, if you want to participate in the Seder meal, which is, I think we talked about it last week, it's uh, Pastor Tim is going to describe like the Jewish uh, customs for Passover, the practice of uh, the Seder, which is another kind of word for Passover or communion. Pastor Tim's going to explain all that. Um, but if you want a box to be able to participate in that, you need to make reservations by today. Today's the last day. So tell people who live with you, uh, if y'all want to participate, you need to reserve a box so you can get some uh, things that will help you participate in that experience. And then lastly, next week is the biggest day, Easter Sunday. And we will have online Sunday school and we'll have a special online service and we will help, we will also have an in-person service in the parking lot um, if it's not raining and you can bring your chairs or a picnic blanket or whatever. Um, it's not going to be drive-in um, and we'll all get the chance to worship together outside for Easter Sunday. It'll be really special. So also tell people who live with you about Easter Sunday if you want to go. Okay, that's all I have for today's Sunday School lesson. I miss you guys a whole bunch. I hope you have a wonderful Palm Sunday. And I will see you later uh, next week for Easter Sunday. Huzzah! See you later, guys. Bye! Also, real quick, I forgot to tell you guys about our Caterpillar Cam updates. Uh, so I'm going to take you in the room where the Caterpillars are and just show you the latest, okay? You can see them, they're all hanging up in their chrysalises. This guy's not in a chrysalis yet, but he will be soon. You can see him wiggling. They're almost all in their chrysalises, and then they'll be turning into butterflies soon, hopefully by Easter. So keep an eye out on social media this week for our caterpillars. I'll be posting any updates. I've got to transfer them to their little, they, they uh, when they come out of their chrysalises as butterflies, they have to be in these little net bags. And so I've got to put the, the lids that they're on right now into the net bags this week. And hopefully by Easter, we'll have butterflies. So uh, keep watching online this week and we'll see what happens.